Hey guys, this video will show you how to send SMS with your own phone number in Excel using the free Pushbullet API. In the past, I have created already two tutorials on how to send SMS using Twilio and SMS77. However, in this tutorial, the messages are sent from your own phone number. Any replies will go straight to your phone as expected. Additionally, you can send as many text messages as you want without needing to worry about paying per message like you would for services like Twilio. Since the messages are coming from your phone, they are covered by your phone plan with your carrier. If you have unlimited SMS, you are set. If you don't, be aware that sending text messages using the Pushbullet API costs the same as sending SMS yourself by hand. Additionally, Pushbullet Pro is required to send more than 100 messages per month. There is no additional coding needed from your side. The hard work is already done. You will find the download link to this template in the description box. Nonetheless, at the end of the tutorial, I will also give you a quick walkthrough of the VBA code. To use this template, you only need to set up your free Pushbullet account. Therefore, head over to pushbullet.com and sign up with your Google or Facebook account. Once logged in, you need to install the Pushbullet smartphone app. After you have installed the app on your smartphone, sign in with your account. As a next step, you need to grant Pushbullet access to your phone's notification. Additionally, you also want to enable the following. This will make sure that Pushbullet can send and receive text messages from your computer. Once done, we can go back to the Pushbullet website. Under Devices, you should be now able to see your smartphone. As a next step, we will set up Pushbullet on our computer. Once you have downloaded the desktop app, open up the installer. I will keep the default settings and click on Install. Afterwards, fire up the Pushbullet desktop app. Sign in with your account. After you are logged in, you should be now able to see the text messages from your smartphone. As a next step, navigate to Settings on the Pushbullet website and click on Create Access Token. Copy this token and paste it into the workbook. We will also need the device ID. Therefore, click on Devices and select your smartphone. In the navigation bar, you should now see your device ID. Copy this ID and paste it into the workbook. Ok, and that's all there is to it. After clicking this button, VBA will send the messages from your phone number via the Pushbullet API. In the status column, you can also track whether the messages were sent successfully or not. Status 200 means that the message has been sent. If you get a status code other than 200, you could check the reason for this in the status text. For those who are interested, I will also walk you through the VBA code behind the workbook. Inside the Send SMS module, you will find the following subroutine. On top of the subroutine, I have declared an enum statement. So, for every column, I can type the column number. For instance, the column with the receiver number is currently in column B, so number 2. The text message field is in column C, so number 3. And the status is in column E. Later in the code, I will use the enum variables to refer to the column. I think it's much more readable instead of typing the number. Also, if I move columns around, I only need to change the number up here. As we are going to send a POST request with the Pushbullet API, I will be using the Microsoft XML version 6.0 object library. You can enable the library under Tools, References and then tick the box next to the library. Afterwards, I define the workbook and worksheet before getting the access token and target device ID from the worksheet. You will notice that I have wrapped quotation marks around the target device ID. I'm doing this because I will be sending the POST request in a JSON format. By the way, you can find the format of the final POST request in the official Pushbullet documentation. I'm just converting the curl command to VBA. In the documentation, you will see how the request header and the content body should look like. Having said that, I will now go ahead and check the last row number in the receiver and status column. In doing so, I can now clear the content in the status column, because I want to make sure that every time I run the VBA code, we start with a blank status column. Afterwards, I'm using a for loop to iterate over the rows. In the first step, I'm getting the receiver number and the text message before initializing the request. Once I have the request object, I'm opening a POST request with the Pushbullet API URL. Inside the header, I will provide the access token and the content type. 
As mentioned already, we will be sending the data in a JSON format. That is why you will see so many quotation marks in the following string. In the end, the final string will look like this. I can now take the string and send the request. For debugging purpose, we could also get the request status and response text. I'm taking this information and return it to the status column in our worksheet. And last but not least, I'm notifying the user with a message box. Okay guys, and that's it for this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.